What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. If it's your first time here on the channel, we discuss all things audio and video, new movies, new AV equipment. So if you're not subscribed, then tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. Today for a review, we've got Gemini Man on 4K Blu-ray. I'm not here to review the movie, I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 4K at 120 frames per second, but it's 4K 60 frames per second on this transfer. It's got a 4K DI, it's rated PG-13, runtime is 117 minutes, aspect ratio is 185 by 1, so there aren't going to be any of those big black bars. Let's just say right off the bat, if you're not a fan of the soap opera effect, or the way that Billy Lynn's long halftime walk looked, you most definitely won't like the way this movie looks. Everything moves extremely smooth and just doesn't have that cinematic movie feel. If you want to feel like you're watching a homemade movie, then maybe you'll like the way this movie looks. With that being said, this may very well be this year's best looking 4K technical demo. It's super detailed and 4K crisp. Pretty much everything that's shot that's in focus will be rendered extremely clean. The cracks in the walls, dirt and debris on the ground, the individual blades of grass, the sand on the beach, I mean it all just looks maybe a little too clean. Of course, close-ups are even cleaner with every little pore on Will Smith's face and even the back of his neck looking pristine. The man's got some crooked teeth. That even goes for his digitally younger self. I'm not sure who the CG artists are, but they did a crazy good job making Will look like he did when he was on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The way they animated his facial movements were flawless. Well, most of the time they were flawless. There were some shots that his face just looked a little bit lifeless. You could also tell where they de-aged his face and kept his older body. In those shots, his head looked a tad too small at certain times. There's also a handful of just really bad CGI, namely the motorcycle chase in Chapter 7. And for some reason, the will-on-will -will fight in Chapter 12 was digital too. I couldn't figure out why they just couldn't keep the fight practical. The CG kind of reminded me of the playground fight in The Matrix 2. So yeah, there were a handful of questionable digital effects. HDR gave the image a bright, natural color palette. The daytime shots are richly saturated with smooth gradational tones, some vivid primary colors, and there's some eye-popping spectral highlights from the flames in Chapter 11 and Star Wars levels of laser beams in Chapter 14's shootout. They're not actually lasers though. Shadow detail was equally as good and gave the image some nice contrast and added depth. Chill the hell out. Audio is in Dolby Atmos, and I thought this was a pretty average affair. Atmos height effects were sparingly used. There is a cool effect in Chapter 3 when young Will's voice is heard overhead and in the back speakers when he's underwater. And there's some good outdoor ambiance from birds and crickets chirping in Chapter 1. Otherwise, I didn't take note of anything else that really drew my attention. Bass response had some good low-end response from explosions and gunfire, and soundstage I thought was mediocre as well. Dialogue was fine without any issues. So for audio, I'm gonna go with a 7.2. There's some decent bass, but the surround effects were unlike the video quality, and it's just not gonna impress. For video, I'm gonna go with a 9.8. There's some occasional crappy CGI, but overall, this is one of the most detailed 4K crispiest transfers I've ever seen. Colors look great, and for all you with 16x9 projection setups or televisions, this is gonna fill your screen without those black bars. Whether or not you like the look of 4K movies at 60 frames per second, I'll let you decide that one. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think. Well, if you guys want to grab this movie, I'll leave some links for it in the video's description. As always, thanks for watching, follow us on social media, and if you want to support the channel and get exclusive updates or just have any questions, then stop by our Patreon page. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again in the next one.